Good day, students. I am Mr. Rafi Jamio Adeni ACA, your financial accounting teacher. We will be looking today at the introduction of bookkeeping and accounting. Introduction. In business studies during junior secondary class, we have learned one of the division of business studies, which is bookkeeping and accounting. This has to do with the recording of business transaction in the appropriate book. This division stands as a whole subject in the senior secondary class, where we learn all about recording, classifying, summarizing, analyzing, and interpreting information relating to financial transactions. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to, one, differentiate between bookkeeping and accounting. Two, discuss the history of accounting. Three, state the importance of bookkeeping and accounting. Four, discuss the users of accounting information and the purpose for which they are needed. Bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is the systematic recording of transactions on a daily basis in the appropriate books. It is an integral part of accounting. Bookkeeping is also the act of recording financial transactions in a systematic way, entering them into the appropriate books as they occur, so that the financial position of a business can be readily ascertained at any time. Bookkeeping is carried out by using the double entry principle. Accounting. Accounting is the process of recording, classifying, creating, summarizing, and communicating of financial information to interested parties and interpreting to help in making specific business decisions. Accounting include the design of the financial information system, preparation of financial statements, development of forecasts and their analysis, and interpretation of accounting information to assist decision makers in making informed decisions. Importance of bookkeeping and accounting information. One, profitability purpose. Accounting records are kept to evaluate the performance and profitability of the business organization. Two, decision making. To make qualitative decision on the finances of the organizations. Three, ascertainment of financial positions. It helps to assess and ascertain the liquidity and financial position of the business. Four, planning purpose. Properly kept records will assist management in business planning. Five, provide permanent records of all transactions. Accounting records provide permanent records for all kinds of transactions of the organization. Six, ascertainment of assets and liabilities. It helps to ascertain the resources, assets, and indebtedness, that is liabilities, of a business. Seven, prevention of fraud. The records act as a check against fraudulent activities of the employees. Eight, to monitor the progress of the enterprises. The records help to determine and monitor the progress of the business. Nine, tax assessments. The records form the basis for tax assessment purposes. Ten, for making economic comparison. The statements are used for making economic comparison for the same company or others. Let's go on a short break now. We'll be back to continue.
welcome back limitation of accounting one transactions are recorded in monetary terms only two accounting information are historical in nature three it rigidly follows unrealistic concepts and conventions four it can be influenced by personal judgments. History of accounting. There is no accurate record as to when accounts started, but available information suggests that record keeping is as old as man. The starting point can be linked to the merchant in the Babylonian and Assyrian civilization about 4,000 year BC. The modus operandi for keeping records then was to make marks on the wall or stone or wax tablets. The method of keeping financial records was highly primitive. The history of accounting is not complete without mentioning the name of an Italian monk and mathematician Luca Pasolio in 1494. The crucial event in accounting was the introduction of double entry book system in Italy, described as Italian method. In 1494 in Venice, Reverend Father Luca Pasolio described the double entry system by giving insight into the reasoning behind accounting records. He postulated that all entries must have double entry. One a debtor and one a creditor. Even though during this period, the records were prepared to show statements for the business rather than the owner. But the yearly preparation was still lacking. After Pasolio, a Dutchman advocated the profit or loss account at yearly interval. The level of civilization and technological advancement ebbed in the development of modern method of accounting. In Nigeria, Record keeping as antecedents in the ancient kingdom and empire, and prominent then was the periodic contribution, which were recorded on the wall. But the granting of royal character to Royal Niger Company was the turning point in record keeping. The governing accounting principle in Nigeria were almost the same as the ones in Britain. In 1965, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria was established and affiliated with the professional institutes in Britain and USA. Many Nigerians came back from overseas after independence as professional accountants and became members. The Institute was charged with the responsibilities of regulating accounting procedures and practice in Nigeria. In 1982, Nigeria Accounting Standard Board was born to set standard to guide accounting operations. Members include Central Bank of Nigeria, Finance Ministry, Nigeria Accounting Teachers Association, Chamber of Commerce, ATC. Now in Nigeria, there are two recognized bodies, namely Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, and Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN. We will go on a short break now. We'll be back to continue. Welcome back. 
users of accounting information and purpose for which they are needed. One, owners of business. The owners of business need accounting information for the following reasons. A, to be able to assess the progress of the business. B, to assess the competence of the managers of the business. C, to know the profitability of the business. Two, employees. The employees are the workers engaged in the running of the business. The following information are of interest to the employees. A, to know the profitability of the business. B, to know the extent of job security. C, to show the stability of the business. D, ability to meet wage demand and improve working conditions. Three, shareholders. The shareholders are the people who invested their money in the business. Hence, information about the financial statements will be necessary for the following reasons. A, dividend paying capacity. B, actual profits and profitability. C, capital growth. D, future growth of the business. Number four, government. The government has interest in the published financial statement of business enterprises. The information are needed for the following reasons. A, for government statistics. B, information regarding policy making. C, to regulate their activities. Five, loan creditors. Loan creditors or lenders to the business are concerned with the following. A, ability of the organization to repay loan. B, ability to pay interest. C, possibility of default. D, operational viability of the enterprises. Six, customers. The customer use the financial statement for the following reasons. A, to assess the financial position of the business. B, to be able to ascertain the strength of the business. C, guarantee of security of supply. Seven, competitors. Competing firms are interested in the financial statements in order to assess the comparative performance of the organization. Eight, the public. They have interest in the financial statement for the following reasons. A, employment and economic considerations. B, issues relating to the environment are also of interest, e.g. pollution. C, to form an opinion in favor or against the organizations. Nine, suppliers. The main information required by suppliers of goods to the organization are A, helps in assessing the credit worthiness of the organization. B, whether the business will be able to make payment for goods purchased. 10, tax authority. Tax authority uses the information purposely for the reasons below. A, to ascertain the taxable profit of the organization. B, for task collection purpose. For further reading, please visit the following website, www.passnownow.com, www.corporatefinanceinstitute.com, www.open.edu. For a copy of these materials, please visit the Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education. Thank you for listening.